That's a really big one. That is a very, very big one. Remember, this is not a very small ground. That was a huge hit. Well, I was just about to say, these two uh, experienced players have used their craft to just knock the ball into the gaps, and now Ejaz has decided it's time to, uh, to go the aerial route big. Down the wicket he goes again, and he's hit that one hard and high, and uh, away she goes. Ejaz is having a ball. That one's cleared the boundary down at, uh, well, it's down at long on. Oh, what a good shot. He's strong, isn't he? He didn't half hit this one. And this is a big round, and this ball has gone a long, long way. It's really got stuck into this one. Big follow through and a big hit. It's landed on the second tier of the stadium here. What an expensive over this. That was a smear. And a very successful one. Six runs. Batsmen, successful batsmen of one day cricket generally have their area and this landed right in Ejaz's area. Sajiwa de Silva is uh, not a fearsome pace by any manner of means. So when it does land just in to make runs on this surface. Six. Don't worry about it. That's a long way back. That's miles back. That's exactly what Barry was talking about. You toss it up, you're going to get spanked. Unfortunately, it has that lovely bounce to pitch. You can get under it and the ball disappears. Well, he just, he's thrown everything at this one. He's drop kicked it many a mile. And they'll find that ball in Dubai somewhere, probably at the hotel we're staying at. Watch how he uses his feet down here. Beautifully picked up. And that's gone, Miles. That's gone. Up, up, and away. Another six to Ejaz. That's a big one. Up into the stratosphere. And they can't resist it. And why not? You don't see a, as big a hit as that every day of the week yes, uh, certainly this is the biggest hit that we have seen in this tournament and uh, Ejaz after missing that earlier delivery from Chamandawa is making absolutely sure that he make a good contact and not only it went very high but it also went very long and that stroke takes Ejaz into the 90s see there that he uh, he got himself inside the line he knew there was a man back on the onside which is where the silver wanted him to hit and uh, he didn't he moved here inside and just locked it over that boundary remember it's okay. six or seven meters smaller than the average in south africa 